Algebra 1, number 2.7a. In this unit, we're going to talk about using the distributive property. So all of the videos, A, B, C, in 2.7 here, are going to be about the distributive property. And now we're going to talk about the distributive property over subtraction. Now, if you're a regular subscriber of mine, you've probably seen my mother bird and the baby nestlings in the parentheses nest. This is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. If you haven't seen it, there's a link in this description of this video that can take you there. And basically all it's saying is this mother is taking turns feeding her babies. Nobody starves. She makes sure each baby gets some food. Well, that's what the 2 does. The 2 gets multiplied to the 3, and then we add it to 2 times 5. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 5 is 10. 6 plus 10 is 16. The distributive property lets us distribute that 2 to the 3 and the 5 so we can multiply them separately and then add the products. And did you know the distributive property is the only property that connects addition and subtraction to multiplication? Yep, it is. So we can use what we know about the distributive property to show that it works for subtraction too. Now here's the formal distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. It says for any rational numbers, a, b, and c, when we have a and then b and c in parentheses, it means a times b minus a times c. And if the a is in the back, see how it's in the front, now it's in the back, we can distribute it and say b times a minus c times a. And this is also called the distributive property over subtraction. They just took out the of multiplication part. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens when we've got some numbers with subtraction in the parentheses. We just distribute this purple 3 to the blue numbers. 3 times 6 minus 3 times 2. 3 times 6 is 18, minus 3 times 2 is 6, 18 minus 6 is 12. What happens when we throw a variable in? Well, we distribute the 7 to the a, so we have 7 times a, we drop our minus sign, and then 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. And because we don't know what a is, that's as much as we can simplify that expression. What happens when we throw in a negative with a variable? Well, now we've got negative 3 times x minus negative 3 times 3. Negative 3x minus, and here we've got the negative 3 times 3. That makes a negative 9, doesn't it? And remember when we subtract a negative, we add the opposite? There'll be a link for that video in this description, too, in case you didn't see it. That gives us negative 3x plus 9. Because we don't know what the x is, this is as much as we can simplify this expression. We're stuck, OK? All right, let's see what happens when we've got a fraction with some variables. We just distribute this negative 5 fourths to the a, to the b, and to the c, and we keep the minus and the plus signs in between them. So that gives us negative, that gives us 5 fourths times a. Here it is. We put our minus sign, then it gives us 5 fourths times b, then we put the plus sign, and 5 fourths times c. See? This is not negative b, it's minus a b, and then plus a c. So if you think to yourself, well, I'm going to keep these separate, OK? If you keep these separate from each other, you can see how it's minus a 5 fourths b plus a 5 fourths c. See? All right, let's take a look at this one. Stay with me, because this one might get confusing, OK? Now we've got a negative number. And we've got coefficients and variables. Remember, coefficients are the numbers that are in front of variables, OK? We've got negative 5 times a. All right, so that's this one. Minus, minus negative 5 times 2b. Negative 5 times 2b. OK, that's this one. Then we've got negative 5 times 3c with a plus sign there. So here's our plus sign, and here's our negative 5 times 3c. See how it went to the first one, to the second one, to the third one, and we kept our minus and plus signs in between them? All right, so now we got to do these separately. So we've got negative 5 times a is going to give us a negative 5a, isn't it? Here's our minus sign. Now we have to do negative 5 times 2b, because that's a negative and that's a positive. It's going to give us a negative 10b. Here's our plus sign. And then we're going to do negative 5 times 3c. Negative and positive makes a negative. We've got negative 15c, OK? Now, this ends up becoming, whoops, I missed my a. This ends up becoming negative 5a plus 10b. 
Remember, we add the opposite. When we subtract a negative, we add the opposite. Remember that links in this video. And because we're going to add a negative, we just put minus 15c. Now, is that confusing to you? Let's look at it this way. We've got negative 5a minus 2b times 5, negative 5. That's a negative 10, isn't it? And that gave us the positive 10 because we were subtracting a negative. It became a positive. Now look at this one, negative 5 times 3. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, see? And there's our minus 15, see? When we're adding a negative, we're taking away a positive, see? You can look at it like this is a separate one. When you add a negative, you're taking away a positive, see? All right, let's try doing a fraction with variables and a coefficient in front of the z. We're going to distribute this one-third to the x, keep our minus sign, distribute our one-third to the y, keep our plus sign, and distribute our one-third to the 4z, okay? So that's going to give us one-third x minus one-third y plus one-third times 4z. See that? And we can put this over a 1, can't we? So we can just multiply straight across, and we get 1 times 4 is 4, over 3 times 1 is 3. So it gives us a 1 3rd x minus 1 3rd y plus 4 over 3z. See? Remember, there are video, in this video description, there's links to similar videos that can give you more help, okay? And I hope I explained this well enough that you won't need that, but if you do, they're there, okay? So that is the distributive property over subtraction, okay? It's just like the over addition one, but we're subtracting in this case, all right? I'll see you in 2.7b. Keep trying. Keep up the good work. We can do this together. Bye.